Gizmo 305. Welcome back everyone to Gizmo 305 and yes, I'm back guys and I am bringing you that review that you guys have been waiting for for the Smackdown Arena. Now, I know you guys can see the playsets right in front of you, but I'm going to be opening these playsets. I'm going to be building them up, setting it all out, and we're going to take a look at everything once it's built and review it guys here on the channel. So if you guys are ready for that, let's get started. And there it is, guys. Look how awesome this looks. Man, nostalgia at its freaking finest. And I'm telling you guys, this was a lot of fun to put together. Actually, I enjoyed it. And it brought back memories from my childhood, guys. And let me tell you the sounds on here. Because that's why it's called the Real Sounds Arena, right? Because it has sounds, lights, and everything. From the stage, guys, to this uh, right here, which is the ring with the scaffolding area right here. Man, let me tell you, this was epic to put together. Now, let's go ahead and get started with this review. And we're going to start off with this, with the actual arena itself, with the ring and the rafter area right here. So if you guys see right here, now you guys remember when it comes to the ring, I bought a different apron uh, for it. Now it did not fit, so I had to go with the actual stickers that came with this playset. It was a little bit big for this ring, so I guess it's meant for a different style ring. Now the one thing I did use was the robes because these were, to me, the most accurate look for SmackDown. Um, the other robes that uh, had come with this playset, they were a darker type of blue, like really really dark almost black and i was like nah I i'm not feeling that so i went with these ropes right here as you guys already know to put this together is pretty simple you put the batteries on the bottom side of this ring right here if you guys see it um you the 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 poles just kind of just snap on there the ring posts right here just you you will just snap them onto those little uh area right there they just latch on you got your stairs right there. And I do not have any Tron Live uh, Ready Superstars to uh, put right here and hear the sounds. But I did put the batteries on this playset. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, play some of the sounds that will come with this playset right here, guys. Because let me tell you something. Uh, I ordered some of those Superstars and they should be on the way, uh, you know, really, really soon. But for now, let's see what it does. Ladies and gentlemen, it's WWF. And you see the light flashing here on the upper Tron. And you heard the introduction from Linda McMahon. And you hear that theme and that's the original SmackDown. Man, this is epic let me tell you that is some of the sounds that you get with this place as you guys saw this right here which is supposed to imitate a tron uh, on the top of the stage i mean on the top of the ring should i say uh lights up which is pretty freaking awesome here right here we have some uh banners for smackdown with some of the main superstars from that era and on the inside we also have that smackdown banner right there on the inside right there of this uh you know uh rig right there onto the side at the top right here you got an area right there where you can actually put your superstars if you want to display them right there all this fighting area you got a hook right here if you want to uh, hook them down or you know you know hook them up whatever you want to do uh you got the other side with the same exact banner here and on both sides on the inside of the metal rig and on the outside and the rest of it is like i said just the ring you have that apron and it's pretty much the same one going all around so i'm gonna go on this side it just you know in different forms it's the same exact one now it's kind of peeling off on this side so i'm gonna have to go ahead and glue that i'm gonna glue all four sides actually just to keep it on there uh but other than that guys you guys saw this is pretty freaking epic oh man it does the sounds not here he's leaving the ring what a coward, coward. so so if you were leaving here, that would it would detect it and say that you're a coward for leaving the ring. It looks like this ring can't hold all the action tonight. Then come over here, you're on your own, JR. Man, this is epic. Now we're gonna go ahead and press this out here. What are you doing out there? I don't know, but somebody 
That's funny. What else are we doing? And there it is. One more. Okay. That repeated. And of course, you do get the three count if you put your superstar right here. And you get your bell rung. That is pretty freaking awesome, guys. If you ask me, I think this is a pretty unique place, guys. Very, very awesome. Uh, I love all the sounds and everything. I cannot wait to throw some superstars on there. But I'm going to go ahead now and take a look at the stage. If you guys are ready, let's go. All right, guys. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the stage right here. As you can see now, starting off with that awesome logo on the ramp. You just have that WWF logo right there you get four lights two on each side right here uh for superstars you know to get light up and make their awesome entrance and there we go we get those arcs right here you see those arches right there going uh you know across the stage man those iconic and nostalgic arcs right there so you get four more lights up here at the top part of this stage the frame of this stage and of course you get those speakers and the tron in the background now, i did say and i did mention last uh when i was doing the uh unboxing uh, of this playset that that right there is a different version there is a different version of this stage which I'm going to be putting up right here so I can show you guys exactly what I mean. There is uh, two versions of this stage. One actually does have just the SmackDown logo right there. But this one, I preferred it and I chose this one because, you know, it was it's my childhood. And I want, you know, the stuff that I had, which is this right here. These cards, um, they're supposed to be the superstars, uh, you know, kind of Tron. Because it lights up, as I said, and it's supposed to reflect the superstar right there, making their entrance as they do. Uh, this wasn't the only one that, you know, it was put out with this place. That there is more cards and here they are. There's more superstars. So we're going to go through those right now. Now, um, to share that with you, of course, you saw right there we have Y2J Chris Jericho, and I don't know if you can see it, but he's kind of giving uh Raven the walls of Jericho right there, so that's what it would display. We have the Dudley boys right here, and oh, yeah, they're doing uh that headbutt, that flying headbutt that you know Devon does. The what's that? If you guys know, you guys know, there it is. We have the Hardy Boys right here uh, doing one of their signature tag team moves, which is, uh, you know, when Jeff Hardy used to do the uh, legs to the, you know, growing area of the superstar. And Matt Hardy will just drop the leg from the top of the rope. And here we have Stone Cold Steve Austin now, of course, giving a stunner to, I believe, is Stephanie McMahon. Yes, yeah, Stephanie McMahon. Wow, that is uh, quite funny. They actually added that right there. They actually went with Stephanie getting stunned instead of anybody else. And we have the game, Triple H. And it doesn't say Triple H. It says the game. So we have the game here. Uh, close lining uh, The Rock. And you guys can see in his full-on Attitude Era look right there. So we're going to go ahead with this one now. Uh, we're going to pop it in here. And we're going to see, uh, you know, how that looks. Now, I want to tell you guys something. Back then, the place that I had... I don't know if it was the fact that it had a glitch. We're going to go ahead and move these ones out of the way. I don't know if it was the fact that it had, it had a glitch, but it would work just with me putting my fingers on this metal area like this, and then it would play the songs. This one apparently is not doing that, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know separate this piece so that we can actually play some of the songs, play some of the uh, entrance music, and see what this place it have. Let's go. All right, guys, there we have it. So now if you guys are ready, let's see what other entrance songs we have here today okay we know that is not triple h i'm not sure if i can mention the name of the superstar here on the video but you guys know who that is right of course we all know who that is next Oh, yeah, we got Rikishi up in the house. And I love the lights, as I'm telling you. And then also right here, 
Now you guys can tell the batteries are quite uh, dead because it's not flashing as bright, but I will be replacing those uh, really soon. What else do we have here? Oh, the Dudleys! The Dudleys! There it is! That's pretty freaking cool, guys. Who else do we have here? Oh, and we had just removed it. There it is. Does the beat ever drop? Nope. Nope, it never did. Okay. Who else is next? Who is that? Do you guys know who that is? Let me know in the comment section. Alright, we're gonna change this now from the Triple H since it already played, and we're gonna go with Mr. Steve Austin. Let's see if we got it right. Nope, the Hardys. Which this should be the one that's playing right now. All right, that is freaking awesome. What else do we got? Who's that? Is that William Regal? I want to bet that's William Regal. Oh, wow, that's funny. Okay. We have Stone Cold there. Then that makes sense. Okay. Okay, and now we got... The box says, all right, The Rock. Now I'm starting to wonder if we'll ever get Steve Austin. Oh, you guys already know. You suck. You suck, you suck. Yeah, you guys already know, Kurt Angle. That's pretty freaking cool, guys. Throw a finger in the air, let's sing a red line, let's throw a finger in the air, yeah, this is sick, Undertaker. And let's see if this is finally Steve Austin or do we have many more songs? I think oh that's the SmackDown intro theme. Okay. Hey, that's epic. And There we go. The Texans rattlesnake. So cool. So yeah, so freaking awesome guys. There you guys have it now. Those are all the themes as you guys saw. We do have quite a few of the ones that we got the cars for now. I'm not sure if for the other superstars who uh, Steam played here, there is cards that you can uh, get on their own uh, because like William Regal, Chris Benoit and whatnot, 
Uh, you guys know that those songs played, so we don't have the cards for them. I don't know if they were sold separately, but it's pretty cool, and it'll be something really fun to look into because this right here was amazing. And, you know, the entrances, the lights, and everything from the stage, man, I'm just telling you, this right here, full-on nostalgia for me, and I'm loving it. And there you guys have it. Now, I did tell you I was going to throw in some superstars, and look at this, man. This looks amazing amazing guys i'm telling you this brings back so many freaking memories so much nostalgia right here this is the reason guys i collect these sets because let me tell you current product wwe could never compete with this product right here this was their best right here and i gotta tell you man from Austin, From the Rock, Triple H, Mankind, Kurt Angle, Jericho, all these superstars you see right here, Latino Heat with Mama Sita right there, Kane, Undertaker, and of course the tag team division, you guys already know the Hardys, Edge, Christian, DX, all of them guys played a huge role on a lot of our childhoods, and let me tell you, they actually uh, brought it guys back in the day they actually brought it not saying the guys nowadays are not bringing it i'm just saying this right here guys you guys already know it just hit different guys but let me tell you this right here guys was the review for the smackdown arena and stage i hope you guys liked the video if you did as always guys remember give me a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and make sure you guys turn on the notification bell it'll let you know next time i'll be uploading here on youtube guys but once again i am happy to be back guys now i know if i didn't tell uh some of you i actually posted it on my instagram but if i didn't tell you if you guys didn't catch that i was away for such a long time because i got sick and i am not sure if it was just a cold if it was covid what was it but i am fine now guys i got over it i'm fine i'm here and i'm glad to be making finally this video for all of you i know a lot of you were waiting for it and i apologize guys but here i am i am back and i am ready to bring you guys more amazing content so if you guys are ready for that hit that like button so that youtube also knows uh you know what's going on and then start sharing my content out there to more uh people to see guys but thank you so much for watching this is Ben Gizmo 305. I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.